Hmm. Can we just use the machine and Google to, to read out everything? Yeah. Brand new art project 2019. Hi, my name is Salbin. Uh, I'm from Kuala Lumpur, an artist who is also curating in this case. Uh, very happy to be here, uh, being invited by the Bangkok University Gallery team to work together with the Buck team on this 2019 brand new art project. Six different solo exhibition, but they are sort of like a constellation, a constellation that uh, we are presenting at this moment. So a constellation is actually just a kind of momentary spatial context. It would move again when times and space move as well. So what I'm interested in is actually uh, how their work Okay, in their own regards that I could extract or actually find a way that they can connect and echo with each other in the sense that uh, I see them as certain poetic moments or even stories that uh, they weave about other places or other spaces or even about a specific theme they're looking at and that could be constellate, I suppose, connect into a different kind of network and being presented in these different spaces. Son, who is actually, basically, well, I call him the magician. In a sense, a magician who uh, dissect, in a way, and show us a kind of how, in a way, the enchanting mechanism of a white cube, a darkened cave, actually plays a part in our experiencing of the arts. Ben is what I would call a witness because he's a witness who travels to places, go around across the city and looking at moments of construction, building and demolition. So that kind of opposite seems very interesting for him where he captured both in image and as well in material form. Fern is what I would call a dreamer in the sense that uh, she sort of questioned that kind of what is the aspiration of a family? What's the aspiration of someone living here, living in Bangkok, uh, along these streets and what's happened behind the houses in that sense? And in this way, they are one aspect of the daily living, the every, everyday life. Yanakon has a very interesting character, very observant, very quiet. Uh, he goes into the neighborhood, into meeting people, he talks with uh, a cab driver and things like that. And from there, he finds material, he finds things that, that he feels comfortable, he feels uh, stories, their are stories, okay, that sort of ignite him, that he work with a certain material and transform those materials. Um, in a sense, talks about that. The well wishes, the daily well wishes, the kind of affection that he feels. So, in his way, he's uh, contemplating this constant daily well wishing that he received through a screen, and he talks about the significance of that. Lalita also deal with the distance, but the distance for me or at least what I consider as kind of distant is very different. It's actually more immediate between human and human, between body and body, between you and me, between the what she considers as like how society tends to demarcate between the normal and the abnormal. So in a way, the space, the site, the place, this being part of it, the distance I have traveled in terms of time, in terms of space as in like for the last 15 years coming here and working with uh, the team in Bangkok U Gallery, I can't help but think about human relationship and how it becomes part of this 
network, this constellation. For me, I do this in memory of a good friend, the artist uh, Issei, who has sadly passed away uh, just a few weeks back. Uh, in a way, I think his work also talks about spaces, talks about place, and talks about the people, the, the complexity of human relationship, the kind of stories that we notice that we don't notice, and how he brings that together in a moment, in a certain juncture, in, in the dynamics of an exhibition.